Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Forged in Shadow Torch, where today we enter the Western Range. The Western Range? Why, I think that's where Bovi is. I haven't seen him in years. Uh, but before we do that, I noticed on the map that there's these steps up and to the right, and I feel like we gotta try to get up those. I think that it's just too high. Also, it's not, um, not at all what's actually here. That's interesting. Okay, well, that is wildly misrepresented. I guess we're going left then. Nope, we're not doing any conversations we don't have to do. Okay, maybe we do have to do knock knock. Ah, fine. All right. Are you from Torch City? My brother Shen is in prison. Have you seen? What a wild thing to say. Hi, my name is Lily. How is she going to ask me if, she, if I've seen her brother? She hasn't introduced herself or given me any way to, like, know what her brother looks like or... I mean, no, I no, I haven't, I've decided. Thanks anyway. This, this conversation is insane. Okay. Uh, well, then I will go over the top of this... No, I will not. There is an invisible ceiling. Uh, well, sometimes there's an invisible ceiling. Weird. Damn it. There we go. Okay, we'll just break in. As doors open. That, that's not breaking in. Who's there? Don't you see I am busy? Solid line read. Lord, it's Chief Ray. Uh, what brings you here? You do me a great honor. What are you working on? I be studying those iron dogs' as weapons. My brothers need better weapons to face them. Hey, that fist looks powerful, Chief Ray. You want to give it a try? Heck no, I don't have the knack for it. Maybe Chief Ray can show me a trick or two so I can collect some combat data and analyze the power of advanced weaponry. Once I figure out what makes it tick, I can come up with a counter. How about it? Can you demonstrate it on that barrel over there, Chief Ray? What? I... Okay. In what way would you possibly get combat data out of I punch a barrel with my big fist? Have you never seen anyone punch a barrel before? Okay, so I can't... I can't blow those ones up safely even at the edge of my range. Darn it, I knew it. I knew that's what was going to happen. Don't worry about this scrap barrel, Chief Ray. Go nope, you're going to give me the reward for doing it. this. Okay, I'm not going to get blown up. That did work. I did catch it in the air. Worth it. There we go. Little, little clumsy, little sloppy. Wow, Chief Ray's fist really packs a punch. They're just barrels. I, there's, they're empty barrels. Chief Ray, I reckon I can upgrade that missile launcher that you carry. Can I have a look at it? Why is that even connected to? Okay. I should probably use it at some point. Done. Give it a try, Chief Ray. The Iron Dogs made a batch of new missile launchers that are even more powerful. If you can find me their blueprints, I bet I can make yours even better. If I see any, I will bring them to you. <laughs> That'd be swell. Thanks, Chief Ray. That's that was the okay. I found a gun blueprint. Is this what you want? I, but why can't I understand it? Oh, this drawing is just a part of it. You need the whole set to figure out the full design. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. 
Aye. Just give me the blueprints when you find them. You can practice on this barrel. No, I'm good. Pity. That was... Really bizarre. All right, let's let's find Bovi and get the heck out of here. Is this okay? I'm sure it'll open up later. Uh, I don't really need that just now. Please. Hey, stranger. What do you want with Bovi? Rayton, a former subordinate of Bovi, has urgent news to report. Bovi ain't home. He's at the mine, dealing with the mine demon. Okay, mine demon, that sounds like a problem that I am appropriate for. Mine demon? Is the mine in danger? Oh, there's a nasty mine demon in the mine. Yeah, I, you just... You're a lot okay. of our miners. Bovi is trying to deal with it, even though he is getting on in years. He also sealed the mine to keep villagers safe. If you used to serve under him, you might be able to help him out. Here's the key to the mine. Bovi gave it to me. Take good care of it. Open the mine door downstairs, then ride the winch down to the mine. Hurry. That has a, that particular character has a very sort of childlike delivery. Like, Bovi's in the mine, and, and there's a demon in the mine, and also Bovi locked the mine to keep people out of the mine. <laughs> I am basically overjoyed that he didn't turn out to be a rancher, though. Go this way first. <laughs> okay, well, I guess it's good to know that's here. Hey, check it out, a mind demon. over there and tried to execute it so yeah it's a little bit of a bummer that these things have a um they have like a secondary state and the way they communicate that visually is by making them look almost exactly the same as an enemy that you can execute but they are not in fact executable weird weird decisions I feel like it's probably not actually worth it for me to just destroy all these things. It seems like the damage from them falling near you is not parryable, probably. The charge certainly is, though.
I could just... Ow. Never mind. Well, the enemies here kind of suck. Yeah, this is... I want to kill this one really badly now. Was that worth the effort? I don't know. Probably not. It made me feel a little bit better, though. It does feel like with the extremely tedious fighting style they have, it's just, it's just gonna be, it's gonna make way more sense to avoid them than it does to fight them most of the time. I wonder if that was the design intent? Okay, that's just a one-way door. Let me see if I can make that. I don't I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think we're gonna we're gonna need the grappling hook or whatever it is that lets us move across these blue things. Yep, okay. Presumably we're gonna get it in this area because we're seeing these things more and more and more. I learned something. There is visibly an opening on the right side there. Uh, and it's super annoying that I can't actually go into it. never did actually figure out how any of that worked, but I was able to just get hit in the face enough times and survive, so, you know, I'll take it. God, this area has so many little interlinking hallways. does this go? Wow, that was a hell of a lead. point every time we refill our um, our EP we're actually getting back like a full health bar at this point very nearly just kind of arbitrarily picking directions here we're going to have a lot of backtracking to do. Okay. Can I break this? No, okay. Switch operated, got it. Well, 
it's not going to lead back to anything we've been we were at before. Uh, I guess let's see. Uh, side All right, those ones really don't have a lot of health. Didn't manage to stay up. Am I really not able to grab onto that horizontal plank there? No, I am not. Okay, well. bell for service. Uh, I'm actually good, remarkably. So we're very nearly at the top. I can't imagine I'm able to get up there without whatever it is, the grappling hook, I'm sure. I do not know how to do this. Okay, I was gonna say, it's not like he didn't turn my, my missile launcher into a Nikita, did he? And no, no, he did not. So maybe that's gonna require some tools we don't have yet. weirdly designed area. So that'll go up somewhere.
Yeah, almost no enemy that has directional attacks seems to have to set their direction until the very, very last moment. So it's a lot harder to get people to, like, commit to one direction than jump over them in this game than it is in most games. from combat ready to needing to needing help to walk very quickly there. Ah, ow, ow, ow. Did I get the, I, okay, I think I got that berry. Oh, I see. I should probably... Actually, hold on a second. Before I do anything, let's drink. Secondly, definitely should be in punch mode for this. Yeah, the up and K executed from the proper side of this thing seems to do just an absurd amount of damage to it. There's no way that's intended, right? Okay, well, <laughs> we got the spark. <laughs> I guess that's the game. That was the MacGuffin. We did it. Hooray, everybody. Uh, okay. Well, we're probably going to need... Ow. We're going to need whatever this thing for these blue things is to get out of here. So this, like, has to be the moment where they give it to us, right? Uh, yeah, that looks like it. Yeah, makes a ton of sense. It's exactly what you should be doing down here by yourself. Do I have to aim? Oh no, it locks on for me. Wow, that's that's pretty good. Except that it changes lock on kind of arbitrarily whenever it feels like it, which is actually potentially a real problem. Okay, well yeah, that seems like a mighty good a mighty good item then. I hope it's fun in combat. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, there is clearly an opening in the ceiling there. Yeah. Nope. 
I do not agree that I hit spikes there. Not. <laughs> yep, that's kind of what I was talking about. It will just arbitrarily switch lock ons on you, like the instant you press the button. Okay, great sort of Kratos vibes here. Old school Kratos. I don't know if I don't know if Kratos still does the the whip arms thing. And play the new game. It seems like he has an axe a lot of the time in the in the footage I've seen. All right. Unfortunately, I am. Uh, receiving an indication here that I maybe need to tend to a real life thing. So hold on, let's let's drop down here. Uh, hit this hit this platform or not platform. Hit this uh, rest bench to save and just take a just take a quick a quick five. Yeah, there you go. Everybody take a lesson from Rayton, uh, and we'll just be right back. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. You know, real life is a... It's a terrible thing. Uh, anyway, so, where were we going? What were we doing? I mean, we may as well continue dropping down here, right? There's a lot of, um... A lot of unexplored stuff. They want us to just go back out, but, like... We can probably get pretty close to, um... At this point, exploring the whole mine, right? So we may as well. Let's see what's down here. Well, one answer is a lot of spikes. All right, let's try up. Oh, nope, hold on, it doesn't quite work. So wait, is it up here? No, I guess this is as far up as it goes. Uh, it does look like I just fell to my death on purpose while not resisting at all. It's a pretty fun traversal method. I'll give him that. So this doesn't really combo, it just kind of keeps going forever. And there's only one heavy swing. And you can't combo out of the lights into the heavy at all. That's interesting. I mean, I'm sure that'll change with some, some purchasable upgrades. Oh, well, okay, close enough, apparently. Okay, I appreciate how, uh, how generous the game is with letting you go backwards. This weapon is all about mobility because your your ability to move and dash and stuff is not interrupted even slightly by the light strikes. That said, you seem to have very little effect on the enemies as well. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It, I can definitely see some upsides, but I, I, yeah, I don't know. Is it going to be a problem if I try to swim with it? Well, it certainly doesn't swim like the drill swims. Oh, 
this is just okay. an awful long way out of my way to go for a single plant seed. Uh, so let's go do it again, I guess. Apparently I care a great deal about these plants. It is like kind of real shitty of them to put, to put the spikes inclined sticking out of the wall that way. Okay, every once in a while, every once in a while we can not get hit by one. You know, as a treat. That's definitely not what I was trying to do. Oh, all the way up to the ceiling, huh? That doesn't seem to stun them either. Also, sometimes you just take damage being near them even when they're not attacking. so we were so far away from it. it seems very silly That's a one-way door that can only be opened from the other side. There's really no reason for me to fight here. I'm locked in. Is I suppose a reason? Spikes would be uh, inhibiting that behavior slightly. So we're at 91. Yeah, okay, there's like a couple of small rooms. Well, we should probably check them out, don't you think? Is 
that all that was? That is all that was. Okay, we got everything over here. So it really is just these couple of little spaces. I guess that's kind of a big space. Drop down and then right and then climb, climb, climb. Ah, yes. Well, wow, really, through the bridge. Oh, I get you, because there isn't a bridge. That was perhaps cutting it a little close. So, yeah. Okay, that got all that marked out. So then there's this room over here. What are you doing? Grab on. There we go. Oh, hold on. May as well. Yeah, navigating the uh, the screen transitions with the way this thing behaves is, is remarkably difficult. Okay, so there's this little room down here that we could not figure out what to do with before. And I'm wondering if the answer will be any more obvious. It doesn't seem like it. to get something down here. I can't actually fit through the space at all. Even even in my sort of like lower dashing stance, I still hit the spike immediately. So we need something to be like rolling down through those gates down there. Like we throw something down there and then we time the hit. I, I don't know. Maybe we will eventually find something that makes sense. Oh, sure, right here, obviously. Why? Why do, why do we have to be difficult? worked earlier. I was a little worried about the angle there and then I was like, you know, we did this in this exact same situation just a couple minutes ago, but apparently that time it didn't work for whatever reason. Right, give me one more. Huh, so I can't hit that. Okay. Can I get you to... Yes, I can. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm gonna need you to come with me, friend. Clever. That's a pretty clever little puzzle. Okay. So now I think that little space is the only thing that's left. 
Oh, I like the way that that is a big T-Rex head. <laughs> That's fun. Oh no, there's a there's a little shaft upward over actually in a couple of spots. Well, I guess let's go figure it out then. This has, yeah. It doesn't look like it has an open top. Oh, it doesn't. It just wasn't drawn for, for some reason. Well, actually, I'm glad it lured me back here because I would have forgotten to do this. It's everything and all the offshoots. So now it's just these little bits over here. And sadly, no way to get back to them quickly. I'm pretty thorough, generally, in, um, in Metroidvanias, in particular, but... I'd say there is definitely some element of this that is just like I'm trying to I'm trying to keep us in the good parts of the game for as long as possible. So okay, there's No, why is it There we go. I actually need to go is down here. Oh, I see. That might have been it. Yep, that was it. Still only showing 99.43. Oh, well, there is a plant I didn't get. Yeah, all right. It's not that far from the elevator anyway. It is kind of far from me though. Run across here, drop down, and then go left. Nope, absolutely not. Sorry. was so close. Apparently, the plant seed is actually in this area, and I'm just not noticing it because I am so stressed out about rock snakes. Alright, does that make it no, actually, that does not increase my percentage at all. So it is just 
revealing map that does it. And it sure doesn't look like there's anywhere for there to be more map. Weird. All right, well, nothing for it, I guess. Just go up and left. Yeah, this will work. Yep, I do have to cross this. Maybe it's just the bit at the very top of the other elevator. Like, for this elevator, the green stuff stops at exactly the surface, but... Maybe that's not true through that door, and in fact, maybe I should absolutely have gone that way? Yeah. Alright, well, it's a thing we can correct later, I suppose. Because it would probably be a good idea to get that door open, right? Alright, let's have a quick look at the drill upgrades. I can't even select the lock nodes, so I will never know what they do. Okay, I mean, that seems useful. See, now that... Wow, that's really... That's only a hundred coins and no discs. Um... I don't know that I'll use this a lot, but I guess... It's not very expensive. Okay, yeah, sure. That is expensive, but it seems pretty worth it. S and K together to swing the weapon down, creating a charged field that continuously inflicts large damage. That does seem pretty good. What did the other one do? Damage to stuff that is above you. That is a place where we um, traditionally have had some issues. I think I'm going to take this one. And we'll just have to find some more cash for the other one. Uh, Bobby is this way. We haven't actually... Hmm. The implication on the map here is that this room is open and yet hey ray your fist is a stuck where did the mind demon come from bovi they dug up a strange red rock in the mine a few days ago then the mind demon showed up and hurt a lot of our villagers we haven't found the cause but i've put the western range on high alert that rock must be the spark. It's apparently a source of power for the Iron Dogs. The Iron Dogs want it, and they are going to attack this place soon. What? That thing must not be allowed to stay in the Western Range. We've kept our guard up, but we just don't have the troops anymore. 
the Iron Dogs really come here for the spark, I fear. Ray, you've always been the one with ideas. Can you get rid of it for me? Don't worry, Bovi. That's what I came here to do. I will take the spark back to the Rat Gang's safe zone. I won't allow it to fall into the Iron Dog's hands. The Rat Gang? I can't really say. When the Resistance failed, I withdrew here to the Western Range. It's tough here, but now we're all in this together. In Torch City, there are many factions and a lot of politics. I leave it up to your judgment. If Cicero had not died, we might be able to bring the old team together again. Well... Bovi! Bad news! The Iron Dogs are here! That was quick. Ray, just like old times. You and your old captain will have a race to see who can score more kills. <laughs> no need for you to waste your time with this riffraff, Bovi. All right, well, I guess let's uh, test out some of our new weapon Top upgrades. Priority, Legion Command. Find the spark at all costs. Yes, sir. Should be good for fighting the, um, the aerial enemies, I would think. Uh, where are all the invaders? Oh, they're like... Wait. That is definitely not correct. I was kind of expecting there'd be some people, like, right out here to do some battle with, but I guess not. I should have realized that's what was going on. Ow. Damn, that did not work at all. I'm hitting the parries here. Okay. Yeah. This is not working. doesn't feel like it usually has a lot of startup time. These things really suck because they can just run right through you. They don't even have to actually hit you with their projectiles to do or their um their big fire plume to do damage. I don't know if that's parryable. 
the uh, the forward charge thing he does. I mean, this is working fine, though. Maybe not the fastest to kill. Oh, come on. We dashed so deep. I thought I was clear on that one for sure. Alright, are we gonna have to. Oh, that's right. You're not even gonna open the door for me. Okay. <clears throat> I'm assuming we have to do all those fights every time and just, like, actually do a good job and carry over some resources from one to the next. I'd rather be down a an equipment point than the health. Because hopefully we can just pull an execution. Although now that I'm looking for it, I'm sure it's gonna be harder to find. Yeah, thanks y'all. Don't feel like you need to chip in or anything. Got this this time. I just need to use that drill dive way more often. Yeah, so attacks that have a sort of a red shape to them seem to be relatively reliably unblockable. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. I feel very uncertain what can be parried and what can't. Okay, apparently I'm just not going to be allowed to parry any of this stuff. Realize that swords are a melee weapon. Once again, can't tell if I'm hitting my parries or I'm like it's just that attack is unparryable, or if it's I'm missing the timing. The idea of that one pulling out the uh pulling out the gun to finish him off in practice that did not really work like the, the animation was just not where it was supposed to be easier to get shots that are going around the enemy shield with all this mobility. I 
have to say, these enemies who can, um, who can do a zero time self explosion move there, uh, really, really annoying to fight when they're standing on the edge of a platform like that. I mean, there's time to, to get out of there and notice it, but it, like, they don't have to commit any time to using it, which is a little Looks like little I need to find a high place to glide from. I'm not actually, um... It seems like not actually able to do that. Did I just not buy that missile power? Yeah, I don't think these are carryable. Really, really, really didn't hit me. But whatever, we got through it. So, we need a high place to glide from. Ow. I don't know that I'm... I mean, this must work. Because otherwise, yeah, the, the people who wanted it to, to work. Over from yep, here. I know, I get it. It is clearly designed to work, but it really doesn't feel like it's going to. is just incredibly cumbersome. Like, even once you've secured all the, um... Okay. Yeah, I feel like in the combo, like in the video when you're buying the thing, they show the heavy attack like coming smoothly out of the lights, but that is definitely not the way it works in the game. like once you get one parry the rest of the bullets maybe chance and sometimes I'm getting multiple parries I don't know
You know, honestly, we may stop using this weapon just because it's, like, not very interesting to use. Just kind of mash the button while running around. It's effective, it's just not very interesting. <laughs> it's very nearly T-posing. All right, retake cable car station, it'll keep coming, yep. Brayton says, I'll hold on there for no reason in the middle of a situation where it's like a very weird thing to say. And thankfully, the other person just disregards him. Trying to access somebody above us. Tough to uh pretty tough to parry out of the street here. I feel like I'm, it's much easier with the drill for some reason, even though the timing on the parry shouldn't actually be different. Yeah, it's not the parry's fault, obviously. Actually, be the top. Yep, okay. Invisible walls, invisible ceilings. So, why do I. Oh. The answer to why do I want to be up here is because this actually is where we're going. So, hold on. What was back here? You know, that does seem useful. Right, I think we're going to stop here for today. I know we're sort of like, narratively, we're right in the middle of something. What is this? Yeah, okay. Go ahead and buy all of these, I guess. So SK. Yep, yeah, all right, down K and up K. Neither one of them uh, n says that it breaks shields explicitly, so I have to assume they don't, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, you know, with the whip, I guess we can just fight around the shield, it's fine. Uh, anyway, that's gonna be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, tomorrow, we're going to get another full hour of robot slaughtering and dialogue skipping in here with, hopefully, not even one tiny little break in the action. And we'll see you then.